Space is vast, bigger than we can truly grasp. And, within that unimaginable expanse, things move. Sometimes those things are asteroids, chunks of rock and metal left over from the early solar system. NASA has recently issued a warning about one such asteroid, a massive rock hurtling toward Earth at 65,000 kilometers per hour. Asteroid encounters are more common than you might think. Most of these space rocks burn up harmlessly in our atmosphere, creating dazzling meteor showers. While the possibility of an impact is real, NASA and other space agencies are constantly monitoring the skies. Think of it as a global neighborhood watch program, but for asteroids. Imagine the Statue of Liberty, that iconic symbol of freedom and democracy, standing tall and proud against the New York City skyline. Now, picture an asteroid the size of this majestic monument hurtling through space. This particular asteroid, while not large enough to cause a global extinction event, could still pack quite a punch if it were to collide with Earth. The impact could release an enormous amount of energy, equivalent to thousands of atomic bombs. Understanding the potential risks posed by these celestial wanderers is the first step toward developing effective strategies to mitigate those risks. Hold on to your hats, folks, because this asteroid is moving at a mind-boggling speed of 65,000 kilometers per hour. At that speed, the asteroid could travel from New York to Los Angeles in a matter of minutes. But why is this asteroid moving so fast? It all boils down to gravity and orbital mechanics. Asteroids, like planets, are bound by the gravitational pull of our Sun. These gravitational interactions can cause asteroids to speed up or slow down, and sometimes even send them on a collision course with Earth. Now let's talk about what would happen if an asteroid the size of the Statue of Liberty were to hit Earth. The impact would release an unimaginable amount of energy, equivalent to thousands of atomic bombs. Imagine a blinding flash of light as the asteroid enters the atmosphere, followed by a deafening sonic boom. The impact itself would create a massive crater, potentially miles wide and hundreds of feet deep. The shock waves from the impact would ripple outward, triggering earthquakes, tsunamis, and wildfires. NASA and other space agencies are constantly monitoring the skies, and they've gotten pretty good at identifying and tracking potentially hazardous asteroids. You might be wondering, how do we even know about these asteroids hurtling through space? Scientists use powerful telescopes, both on the ground and in space, to scan the skies for any signs of movement. These telescopes are equipped with advanced sensors that can detect even the faintest glimmer of light reflected by an asteroid. By analyzing the asteroid's brightness and movement over time, scientists can calculate its size, trajectory, and potential threat to Earth. One of the most important tools in our asteroid hunting arsenal is NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, or PDCO. This dedicated team of scientists and engineers is responsible for coordinating efforts to detect, track, and characterize potentially hazardous asteroids. Now you might be thinking, okay, so we know how to track these asteroids, but what can we actually do to stop them if one is headed straight for us? One option is to use a spacecraft to nudge the asteroid off course. This could be done by crashing a spacecraft into the asteroid at high speed, or by using the spacecraft's gravity to slowly tug the asteroid onto a different trajectory. Another option is to use a nuclear weapon to destroy the asteroid. However, this option is considered a last resort, as it could create a shower of smaller but still dangerous fragments. The best defense is a good offense, which is why scientists are also working on improving our early warning systems. By detecting potentially hazardous asteroids further in advance, we'll have more time to develop and deploy effective countermeasures. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our unwavering desire to explore and understand the cosmos we call home.